Hello, what's up? Ali here, and on this video, we are going to show you how we can jailbreak our Vita using the newest and easiest method. We no longer have to update to the latest of firmware. We can now access the web host on a firmware 3.65 and higher. And not just that, we can also use the SD to Vita to upgrade our storage with this method. So we still have to set up our SD card and our SD to Vita to be able to use it on our PS Vita. But with using this method, we'll be able to bypass a lot of previous steps, which makes this very user-friendly. So even if you don't have much knowledge regarding jailbreak and stuff, you will be able to do this. You'll have to follow our user-friendly video and you will be able to jailbreak your Vita and be able to use SD card as your main storage. So let us go ahead with our video. First, we'll show you how to jailbreak our PS Vita. Then we'll show you how to set up our SD card and SD to Vita and use it as our main storage. All right, so on our Vita, let's go ahead first and check our firmware. So currently, we are now on 3.65. On this method, the first thing we have to do is make sure we are properly connected to the internet. So just connect to your Wi-Fi and make sure you have a proper internet connection. Then uh, let us go to the web browser. And go to this following address. Then just press enter. So once you are connected to this address, uh, let us uh, first choose the second option, Install Henkaku. Hopefully you can still see this one. And once Henkaku has been installed, uh, let's go ahead and uh, choose the third option, Download the Vita Shell. Then you will see on the fourth option, uh, install SD to Vita as a UX0 or as our main storage. But we cannot do that now until we have uh, properly prepared our SD card and SD to Vita for our Vita. And to prepare our SD to Vita, here are the stuff that we needed. First, we need the SD to Vita adapter. We will need this for our Vita to recognize our SD card. Then the SD card. Next is our card reader. We need to connect our SD card to our PC to format our SD card to prepare it for our Vita as its internal or primary storage. On our PC, we have all we need two files. We will find the links on our description. First is our Win32 Disk Imager. Just go to the link that we have provided and click on this part to download this file. And once downloaded, I just go ahead and run the .exe file and install this application. Next, we need this ZZ blank image. This is the raw image for our SD to Vita. So just go ahead and open the link on our description and click on this area to download the file. Now, after we have prepared both files, just go ahead and run the Win32 disk imager. And here on the device, Click here the drive of our SD card. And in our case, that is drive D. So just uh, choose here drive D. And here, click on this folder icon and choose the ZZ image that we have just downloaded. So before we write the image, just make sure we have uh, the right drive here. You don't want to format a wrong drive. You will definitely lose all of the data on that drive. And also make sure that we have here the right image on the left side. So we need here the right drive and the right image. And once you are set, just go ahead and click right. And just click yes to continue. And after you write the image, just unplug and insert it back on your PC and you will get this notification. So let us just go ahead and format our um, SD card. And here choose XFAT. And here on the allocation unit size, choose a default allocation size. Then just click start. So on your driver, you should see your SD card formatted as XFAT. Now let us just leave it here for now and we will back up our files here later. Next is we need to enable the unsafe homebrew here on the uh, Hintaku settings.
Then we can now open a Vita Shella and uh, complete our Henkaku first before we transfer our main storage to our SD2 Vita. To do that, we need to connect our Vita to our PC and we have to download some other stuff first. All of the links that we need have already been uh, provided on our description. Uh, first is our Adrenaline. This will install a PSP custom firmware on our Vita so that we can play PSP and PS1 games. Just click on this part to download this file. Next is the auto plugin. This will uh, install plugins on our PS Vita. Uh, those plugins are very helpful to fix some bugs and to provide some extra features on our Vita. So just open the link and click on this part to download the file. Next is our PKJG or our PKGI. This will act as our Play Store to our Vita. We can download here games and other helpful uh, applications uh, directly to our Vita. Then our end. So this will install a permanent uh, jailbreak on our Vita so that we don't have uh, to reactivate our Henkaku every time we open our Vita. So once we have downloaded all of this stuff, uh, we can now go ahead and transfer them uh, to our Vita. So on our Vita, just uh, press select and you should be able to browse your PS Vita using your PC. If you don't find all of the folders on your Vita, you will have to change the view properties of your window first. To do that, go to the view properties. And here, click option. Then change folder and search option. Then go to the view tab. And uh, check here, show hidden files, uh, folders, and drive. And also uncheck, hide uh, protected operating system files. Uh. Then uh, you can go ahead and press OK. Next is uh, we'll just have to transfer all of uh, our downloaded files uh, to our Vita and install them. So what we are doing right now is uh, we have uh, to complete uh, our Hentaku first before we transfer our main storage uh, to our SD2 Vita. Once installed, we can now go ahead and open those applications. Let us start with Enso. First, press your column. Then press X to install the application. Then press X to exit. Now let us go to our Adrenaline. First press X to download the custom firmware. After the download, just open Adrenaline again. and press X to install the custom firmware. Once installed, your PS Vita will boot like normal PSP. So just go ahead and complete the initial setup. To go back to the uh, PSP Live area, just tap the PS button twice. Let's go ahead now and install our auto plugin. You will have uh, to install one important file to complete our um, Hentaku. So go to the Vita plugins, install plugin, and browse non PDRM. Just choose the official uh, by the flow and just press start uh, to restart your Vita. From here, we have uh, basically installed uh, the essentials for our Henkaku. We can still uh, install some other stuff uh, based on your preference, but uh, once you are satisfied, we can go ahead now and uh, back up or transfer our backup to our SD card and make it as our main storage. Now, let us go back to Vita Shell. Then press select. Now let us open two folders, one with the Vita and one with our SD card. Now let us transfer all of our files from our Vita to our SD card. By the way, we actually can install SD to Vita after installing Hankaku, but since SD to Vita has a tendency to get disconnected from our Vita randomly, 
Once it happens and you don't have a backup of your exploit on your memory card, you may encounter some errors and may lose all of your files. So if you have a backup and your SD to Vita disconnects, your Henkaku will load normal on your memory card and you can simply access your Henlo host and switch back to your SD to Vita. After the transfer, we can now go ahead and uh, place our SD card to the SD to Vita and uh, insert it to our PS Vita. Now let us go back to the browser. Then on the browser, we'll have uh, to add our firmware to the address that we have uh, used. Say for example, uh, we are on 3.65. Now let's go ahead and add question mark. Then your firmware. Since we are on 3.65, we are going to add uh, on the address uh, question mark 3.65. Then let's just go ahead and press enter. And here back on the host, uh, let's go ahead and uh, choose the fourth option. Install SD to Vita as a UX0. This concludes our video. From here, you can just go ahead and open your PKGI and just download the games that you wish to have on your PS Vita. First, you have to refresh your list. Just press triangle, then click on refresh. If you open your PKGI and you got the error message non-PDRM was not found, you can just simply reinstall non-PDRM using uh, the auto plugin. And once you have refreshed your list, uh, you can uh, just go ahead and press triangle, click on search, look for a specific uh, PS Vita games. Or if you want uh, to search for PSP games, press triangle then show PSP games. Or if you want PS1 games, press triangle and uh, choose uh, PSX games. By the way, if you download PSP or PS1 games, uh, your games will show on your adrenaline. So this will be it. If you have any questions or concerns or if you run into any trouble, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, this is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.